Hello, I'm Mary Waters. I'm the Deputy Commissioner for International Trade with the Georgia Department of Economic Development. For those of you who might not be aware of our department, we are essentially the state's sales and marketing arm uh, for the state of Georgia. And so our mission is to grow jobs uh, and spur investment in all corners of the state. And our department does that in a lot of different ways. The role of my team is to work with existing industries uh, all across the state of Georgia, aerospace, agribusiness, healthcare and life sciences, technology companies, Georgia-based businesses that are looking for new partnerships and new sales channels in global markets. Um, so that's our sole focus. We do not, my team does not work with bringing new international investment into the state. We really focus on the existing industry base that's currently here that's looking outbound. So we can help companies in a lot of different ways. Uh, we have a team of trade professionals based here in Georgia, uh, and they work strategic industries. They uh, go out to different regions of the state. The idea really is that any company in the state of Georgia, if you have a business, um, whether you're a service provider or a manufacturer, no matter what industry you're in, if you're a Georgia-based business and you're looking for those global clients, you're looking for those global customers, there is a dedicated point of contact with the government of the state of Georgia to work with your business and help you go international. So uh, our trade team here in Georgia, uh, they're kind of jacks of all trades. Uh, their primary focus is uh, consulting, right? They counsel companies, making sure that they understand um, that a company has all the, the mechanics and the fundamentals correct in order to be the most successful in international business. They kind of assess the product. They assess what kind of resources a company might have to dedicate to exporting. Um, and then we go from there. Uh, market research, what, uh, what markets might be a good initial target for a company that has not exported before, but really uh, wants to get into the business. Um, and that really is a, a fundamental step, making sure that companies um, do their research, do their homework. Uh, you never stop having to do your homework. Uh, <laughs> but really understanding the company's reasons for getting into it and what resources they have to dedicate to international. Um, you know, if, if we're working with a company that only has four or five employees, um, that company can still be a very successful exporter, but the resources that that company needs in order to successfully find a partner in the UK or in Brazil or in China, those resources can look very different than a company with 150 employees or 500 employees that's looking to uh, expand their business into a global market. And so these are all things that we take into account. Um, and again, our goal is to make sure that companies know about our services, that companies understand the importance of exporting, um, but also that they, they understand that there is a whole suite of resources behind the scenes working on their behalf to actually do business globally. So the market research piece, the export counseling, uh, getting companies ready, that's all a function of, of the team that's based here in Georgia. Um, we also have a network of representatives all across the world. Uh, Georgia has a network of 13 international offices located in 12 countries around the world. And those representatives, they really serve as boots on the ground for our Georgia business community, right? Um, we hire these folks uh, in global markets based on the strength of their contacts, the strength of their business contacts, how um, well integrated um, their networks are so that they can help um, an aerospace company find a joint venture partner one day, help uh, a food company or an agribusiness company uh, find a distributor or an importer the next day, um, and, and help a three-person consumer products company um, understand the best prospects in Israel or in Canada uh, or in Colombia. Um, that's really the role of our international offices. Um, and I will say that it is not unique for a state agency to have international representation around the world, but it is unique 
for a state like Georgia to have so many of those international representatives focused on export promotion. Um, a lot of states have international representation that is primarily focused on attracting investment into the state. Um, and that's important. That's a fundamental part of a lot of U.S. states' uh, investment structure. But it's not as common for a state the size of Georgia's to have an entire network of international representatives who are working export promotion. They are working on behalf of Georgia businesses to help them make more sales in global markets. And I think that's really important to note. Um, something that really sets Georgia apart um, I think it's the network of partnerships and you've um, you'll be hearing from a lot of, of the different partners um, federal resources other state agencies local jurisdictions um, These are all really important partnerships that work on behalf of a business um, All all of our agencies all of our entities we work together because we understand that no single agency can help all of the companies that need assistance. We have to work together if we're really gonna help the statewide business community continue to thrive in global markets. And that's what we do. So we really operate under this concept of a call to one is a call to all. Uh, it's more of a one-stop shop. Uh, a company that calls you know, our state services if it's an import request, and that isn't something that we do on a daily basis, we'll refer that company to the Small Business Development Center that does have import assistance capabilities. Um, if we get a call from a company that's looking for, um, for financial resources or an export grant, that isn't currently something that the state does. So we might refer them to the Metro Atlanta Chamber of Commerce and their Metro Export Challenge program. Um, and we get referrals from these agencies in, in return. And the idea really is that we're working on behalf of the business and bringing as many resources as we can so that company is as prepared as it possibly can be to do business globally. Um, you know, I can say I was in the private sector for a couple of years. I worked for a medical device company in Norcross and I was responsible for um, business development in Latin America and Africa. And I learned a lot of important, <laughs> a lot of important cultural aspects uh, that actually led me to believe that the business environment, the business culture in Latin America and Africa was more uh, similar than you might think. But you just, you learn a lot, right? When you're, when you're in there, when you're working for a company and your responsibility is to open up these global markets, you're in it every day and you're learning so much. Um, and there's always more to learn. And so I think the thing that's really important is for companies to understand that there are these free resources out there to help you stay ahead of the curve. Um, exporting isn't always easy. If it was easy, every company would do it. Um, and I don't think it's our responsibility to, to make companies export or to tell companies that it's, this is the easiest thing they'll ever do. But it is an important growth strategy for their business. It does support and uh, enhance the economy of our state. Um, and it helps companies be more resilient. Um, that diversification of markets, um, making sure all of their eggs aren't, aren't in a single basket, that really does help um, a company's underlying bottom line. Uh, and it helps the business grow over the long term. And that really is the goal of the Department of Economic Devel Development. Uh, increasing jobs, increasing investment in the state. Um, and so that's something that we're, we're going to be focused on for the long term and helping as many companies as we can to truly do business globally.